All right, guys, we're back. Uh, let's see if we can get our fourth win. Pretty good start to our career here at Old Go Gaming. Ten straight match wins. Nowhere, nowhere to go from here but down. This looks like a pretty good opening hand. If we can get the carriage on five, we'll be well on our way. Oppo's working. I'm going to keep this seven. Cool looking swamp. Even if he's got a ginger brute, we'll have a two one. If he's got nothing, he's just... And there it is. Oh, he's scrolling over our knight. Possibly giving us the opportunity to block, which we won't. Hey, Balonzo, this is old Goat Gaming. We will not block. Red, black. Oh, boy. Here comes removal.deck. Now the question is, would we... Trade our Venable Knight for his Eye Collector to give a 3-2 first striker. We would, probably, unless we knew he had a removal. If he, I'm thinking if he had Reeve Soul, he would have used it on that first turn when we had nowhere to put the counter. Let's, let's see what he does. Alright. Race is on. Beautiful looking card. Let's see what they're going to mill. What exactly what is he going to do here if I... Rimrock Knight. Barge in. I guess it could be barge in. No blocks. No thank you on your barge in. <laughs> Speaking of barge but we did get a Scorching Dragonfire from his, so that works out great. Oh, we got Rimrock for days. see Rimrock getting some action here. Plenty of good targets. Another mountain would be nice. No thanks on your barge in. Oof. Oof. That, that would have been huge for us. That was a good mill for him. Let's try one rim rock here. Uh, do we go for the win? Sure. What could happen? Just like that, 
Our streak continues. Waltzing through silver tier four. Gaining goal. We're up to four wins. That's 11 wins in a row. Pretty sure that's a record that for this account won't be broken, at least in this draft format. I mean, for me, a good player could do it, but for me, 11 wins is a good start. It appears as though we'll be trapping people in the tower this game. Not bad against green black and their big creatures and generally lack of flyers. That's a really good target. I'm not sure you could trap a spider like that in a tower, but we probably will try. Out muscle will most likely be played against us this game. We're not cool enough to have a pet. As you can see, we got a whole lot of nothing. Hmm. So if we were to attack here... <coughs> excuse me. It is pumpable. They would not be able to kill it. But do we want to spend our whole turn killing the spore cap spider if that's what they block with? Hmm. Oh, I guess we do. Didn't mean, to, didn't mean to pump that night, but once we did, swinging in. Typical air that, would, that happens on arena that would never happen in real life. But hey, we knocked him down six. I think we'll just play carriage. We'll slow down a little bit. Hopefully he doesn't have the two mana disenchant spell. If he does, that's fine. We've got... up is noble <laughs> gonna get in for at least one Mm 
Hmm. I don't know if this is the right move, but what do you think about destroying all non-giant creatures? Obviously this one will come back. That one's better to be trapped in a tower. But what am I going to do otherwise? Attack with a four... I think I will Realm Cloak Giant. <laughs> Holy moly, that was loud. When you guys tell me. Is that the special effects that were so loud? Yee. Alright. Let's see how he rebounds. I don't know if that was the right move or not. If he lays something big. I guess we're fine. What's up, D-Train? Let's go. He's looking to gain some life. Maybe he's got a once and future king. Forever young. It's fine. I'm itching to trap that deathless knight in a tower. Ooh, he's returning it all. I need my... I know how to do my realm cloak giant again. He's not putting deathless knight on there. Which means he'll probably lead with spore cap? To block the carriage? I don't know. Let's just see. Alright. The other stuff he put on, really, we need. Hopefully, we can do stuff before he has time to recover. Carriage that thing twice. All right, he probably went with the tempting witch next. No, maybe the noble. Obviously, the noble can sack this. And Yep, tempting witch. Not a surprise. That's kind of good. Uh, let's see. Does he have a pump spell? If we trap that in the tower, recruit this, we're going to swing for eight. He can gain three, which would bring the Death Knight back. I don't think we're going to trap him in the tower there. He's got the two green disenchant spell. That's a pain in the butt, but whatever. If he's got Carver, he's going to eat our red cap. And if not, he's going to take eight. Maybe gain three. Get the 
Death Knight back in his hand. Hopefully next turn Death Knight's his only play. I mean, one of his only plays. So if this game carries on, the bad thing is that Noble's going to eat these two things that we've trapped in the tower. We can afford to go to one, but we're going to find out. We'll find out what he thinks, he or she thinks. D-Train. Apparently not. I can't remember what is next. If he forever young, something back we know about already. Could be the ginger brute. I can't remember. Let's see. Yep. Nope. Oh, Rose thorn. Okay. I think we're still on the same plan for now. And then we're going to add a new big boy. Not ideal when you realm cloak giant and your opponent casts forever young on the next turn. But I think we're gonna get there. So guess it doesn't matter. Man, that was loud. I'm glad. Yes, sir. Good game. All right. Rank up. Level up. Just knocking it out of the park. Down the road. Everyone just remember how smooth this was going. When we hit multiple bumps in the road. Multiple sinkholes. Multiple whatever you want to call it. All right, back at it. Up to five wins. Two away from slaying the boss. Slaying the final boss. Hey, mid-range decks use efficient creatures and value-generating spells to outclass aggro decks and pressure control and combo decks. Chase. Good luck, Chase. Mm, if we get some land, it's pretty capable. I think we'll hold off because we have trebuchet. And three knights to... The old giant skewer. Let's see how scary Trebuchet is for him. Not, not scary enough. Green. Uh-oh. We got some big boys coming. We 
We've already seen what kind of damage Raging Red Cap and two Rimrock Knights can do. Oh, Savvy Hunter. Such a good card. So if we attack with the red cap, will he block? I doubt he'll block. Which is fine. We might trap it in the tower. We might rim rock, rim rock, can't say it, rim rock, and then trap the hunter in the tower anyway. He's down to two cards. Obviously he can sack it to the oven, which makes it kind of meh. Here we go. Let's see what he's got. Hopefully he's got a carver. He's going to block with... Okay. Never mind. Take back what I said. I do not want Savvy Hunter to go crazy. So I think... I think I will rim rock once here. Maybe twice. T have this guy take ten. And then... Put his savvy hunter in a tower until it's sacrificed. Or whatever. Whatever comes first. Alright, we got him to nine. Alright. We're not scared of that, although Red Cap can't really do anything. Wait, wait. Oh, the Hunter. That card is just a pain. It's a really good card. I don't know if it's going to have time to do work on us, but... <laughs> He'll block for sure after that fiasco last game. You got me. Good block. Savvy Hunter has returned. He could have an endless supply of food for sure. Pretty soon here if I don't find a way to burn him out. Oh, missed a trigger. Oh, no, I didn't. Whew, got it in time. Almost dropped the ball. So that gives us three damage of first strike. Oh. Now that's a way he can get back in the game right there. That's a way he can get back in the game. got two mana that's gonna gain him two life and he can gain five life oh never mind he's gonna put the rose horn thalbert halbert on something okay so he's at eight i'm not blocking he 
He's at seven. He's at four. Three. There's more life. And draw a card. So good. This card is so good. <laughs> Especially if you can play a bunch of one drops and just draw more cards. Alright, so he can go to five life, eight. He might be able to go to eleven life here. There he. Yep. We ain't burning him out this turn. We need a slaying fire. Come on, deck. Slaying fire. Or pump our whole team, give it vigilance. Maybe he'll attack. Yeah, attack. You're safe. All right, we got him down to four. That's one we were looking for, except we can't give it vigilance. Four, five blockers. One, two, three, four, five attackers. One, two, yeah. More than enough. I need, just need to wait a turn. Actually, if I give that. So if we attack with everything. Let's see if we can actually figure this out. I know math is for blockers, but. So we attack with everything like this. Probably block here. Or maybe here. If anything gets through, so if I go five, okay, he's got, he can go to nine. If I make this a five, four, he can double block. One, two, three, four. Yeah, I think we're just going to hold on. Although, this guy attacking... Yeah. I think we'll go this way. Probably could attack with the room rock too. Probably could attack with the whole group actually. <laughs> oh well, let's see how it has to see what happens. Down to three. Land. 
Oh, that's painful. Should have attacked with all of them. You can go up to eight. No, come on. That that would be great. Coming in. Yo. Just gonna make two food out of that. I'm just gonna have so much food here. Probably be able to draw some cards. If only I had barge in. That's what I was gonna say. That makes more sense. More food. Here comes more food. Great hinge, though, will keep him forever in this. Down to nine. He needs to draw land. There we go. Ten, he can go to 16. I still think I can get him with the Fireborn. Six and zero, oh. hard to navigate that one, but we got there. One more game for back-to-back -back seven and zeros to start this account. Here we go, last. I mean, obviously we have three chances to slay the final boss, but it'd be nice to do it on the first shot. Start us out with something good here. I like it. Nothing flashy, but simple. One, sort of two, three, four. Green Dia. Oh, what a surprise. I got a one drop. This dude, this person has cool pet. There's our hero.
Come on, weasel back. You can do this. Ginger brute coming in. Ginger brute coming in. Okay. We'll block that. and we are going to be significantly behind. Although, Fireborn and two Rimrocks, we've seen some magic. Ready got to pay for this to 5-4. Oh boy. We're taking five. Interesting. To win this, I think we have to play the Fireborn Knight now. But then we have no attack at this turn. Although, if he's... I guess we do. If he's going to throw away Ginger Brute to block Red Cap, that's good for us. I think we'll do that. We're coming in. Nice. This gargoyle gets plus two in flying. Hmm. Ooh, it's your bow. All right, we're going to do some trickery here to get by your bow. So I think the right play here is to play the Ogre Errant to give Red Cap Trample and allow him to trade with you, Orvo. Standing by the Rimrock and the Fireborn. If we do that, he can hit back for seven. Could be scary if he's got a pump spell. I think it's it's certainly a risky line, but one I think is worth it. I could just attack with these two. Not give it. Nah. He could choose the no block route. At least we got him thinking about it. Okay, we don't even have to use a rim right, rim rock to win that battle. Thirteen. He's at least in jeopardy because we're going. He, he's going to have to use two to block the fireborn knight. And we can, the Fireborn Knight can do 12. 
not that they know about. It's a secret. Let's see what Oppo has up his sleeve here. Uh-huh. Oh, just using it to draw a card. Interesting. It's probably good for us. Spinning wheel. Interesting. Kind of wish he'd attacked with both there. That would have made our choice easy. Mm. So if we attack with everything... Okay, so here's our here's our plan. We're going to pump the first bo fireborn and let him know about it. We're going to play the Rimrock Knight to give to make Red Cap a 4-3. And we're going to slay him. If he double blocks, we've got the rim rocks to blow him out. Okay. So, I think that's game, right? We've got trample. It's going to trample over for two. Yeah. All right. Rim rock. Rim rock for seven and oh. I've always wanted to say Rimrock for 7 and 0. And there we go. We got there. Amazing. Alright, we're up to silver tier 2. We've done two drafts. And uh, haven't lost... I haven't lost the game yet, so certainly lucky, certainly good draws. We'll keep grinding, but hey, thanks for watching. Really, the important part is if you guys like the content, um, post something in the comments and let me know if there's something we could do different, something we could do better. Um, yeah, let me know. We'll probably, probably try to do a stream soon and just record the stream and use it um, for YouTube, but it depends on... Depends on how things go, how things go, how many people are watching. Uh, I guess we can claim our prize. All right, 950 gems, two more packs. We're up to 3,600 gems. We're over halfway to another draft. We've got. Uh, we didn't cast any black or green spells. We've still got that one to work on, and we have. 13 Throne of Eldraine packs. Maybe it's best we crack those. All right. Thanks again for watching. Um, hit like, subscribe, whatever it takes to uh, generate some momentum for this channel. Appreciate it.